Hey guys, uh, this video here is just some bits and pieces of stuff we did today. Uh, I did some, I went to the river in the back and uh, did some work out there with that, that lumber that I'm trying to salvage. Uh, we had all the little girls and I had to go for rides with them and do some crazy stuff like that. It's been a long day, and I'm fixed to go in, fix me a glass of tea. I tell you, Gigi's watching this crazy show. Normally, I would be kicked back in there, maybe even dozing off, but she's watching this show today, and it wasn't my kind of show, but I had some stuff I wanted to do. So I just went back in the back and worked on that lumber for a while. But I'm gonna go get me a glass of tea and kick back. And I may take a nap regardless if she's still watching or not. She says, it's only one more episode. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be back. <laughs> Love you guys. Hope y'all enjoy this. Hurry up. Let's go. Some of y'all kind of dragging, ain't y'all? Some of y'all kind of dragging. I see Ivan coming back there. Him and Miracle, they coming. Make y'all act right. Howdy going down that pond. Huh? She's going to go down there and get in that pond, get soaking wet, come up here and put her fat little wet butt up on top of me almost. Get your wet butt over. Soaking wet. I can read her like a book. <laughs> she probably says, I'll read you too, Papa. <laughs> I'll read you like a book. Look at you, baby. You can't resist a pond, can you? At least it's warm today. Well, the river's back down where it should be. You see all the sand. If you remember the other videos, all those trees out there were underwater or water running through them, now it's all back down. Beautiful white sand. And you can't see it from here. There's a sandbar over there reaching out. It'll be all kinds of beautiful white, white rock. i tell you a quick story about that particular sandbar you're looking at right there. Turn this off. We were swimming here uh, it's been several years ago, well, quite a few years ago. We were swimming here, playing, bully gator, all the games we played. I happened to come up on this sandbar for one reason or another, I don't know, but anyway, there was this huge, I say huge, about three and a half or four inch long arrowhead, spearhead, beautiful, just beautiful white, and, uh, just lay there in the sand where it would have a high water rise and it washed up or washed the sand off of it, whatever. Uh, took it and uh, we lost it in our house fire. It got, it was lost in our house fire. But my dad at that time worked with a, a fellow that was into Indian Native American relics and stuff. And he had a library of stuff and, and books and books and stuff. And, and he, my dad was telling me about it because it was a beautiful, beautiful piece. And he wanted to see it. And my, so I, I sent it to him one day with my dad. And my dad worked with him. And uh, he took it home and researched it. And he come back one day, he brought it back to me. And in one of his books was exact picture of it. Same size and everything in detail. And uh, it come from a rock, and I can't remember the name of the kind of rock. He's moved away. I couldn't get a hold of him now, I don't guess. Uh, but from West Texas, and here we are over in East Texas. And in this column, that this this article he was, he was reading about it, a lot of times the uh, Native Americans, which I think at that time was Comanche, over in the west part of the West Texas and stuff in Central Texas, that's where these rocks were found. Uh, kind of like Flint. I don't know what the name of the rock was, but anyway, they 
made arrowheads out of it. And they would come over here into East Texas and trade, according to this article, uh, these arrowheads and stuff like that to the Indians that lived here in East Texas for their furs and, and skins and stuff. There's a whole lot more animals here to, you know, to get skins off of. Uh, so anyway, just an article he had. And anyway, it was a beautiful piece. And when our house fire, we lost it. It got burned up and carried away in all the debris, I guess. But it was a beautiful piece found right there. And we had another arrowhead that and I told you about Hales Ford at rock bottom. Lester was a little boy playing and one stuck in his foot and we lost it also. Uh, it's a lot smaller, but it's a beautiful little arrowhead. And anyway, he'd come across that rock and it stuck in his foot. <laughs> anyway, we kept it too. All right, just a little story. Now there's Ivan and his goats. Miracle. Got them straightened out, Hattie. Ivan, right, Ivan keeps them straight, Hattie. He ain't gonna let them mess up. Say bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> right, I got three little birds. Come on, Hattie. Come on. Y'all pick your legs up. Uh, Hattie's okay. Hattie says she'll ride. Run. Carly, where you at? Carly. Look at here, Bobo. Here you are. There, all of you. Face. Cut a setback. Ah. Not the best. Babysitter. For little girls. I need I need little workers. Now they'll be okay when they big enough to open the gates. But right now, they're just little nerds. Three of them. Three little nerds. Bubba. I'm squinched down here in the corner. Poor baby. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, I got to give them a ride. They want a ride. They had their dinner. Half, half their dinner's on their faces. Then, she's going to clean them up, and they're going to take naps. Carter is going home, and I'm going to kick back. Go to bear, better leave that key alone. The other day, they play on my lawnmower, and it's my own fault. My own fault, I ride more. And they go out and they play on it. And I know that, I don't mind them sitting up on it and play, it's just sitting there. But the other day, one of them turns the key on. I didn't know it. Well, two or three days later, I go get ready to mow the yard, Battery's completely dead. Yeah. Gigi says it, it's uh, Carly that does it. Carly's one likes to get up and sit in the seat and play. Like she's driving. Yeah, evidently she turned the key on. Anyway, I charged it up. Didn't know what I had to do, and then I put the key away. Up high. They can't find it. They can't reach it. Okay? It's fixed to rain, so I'm fixing to take them back home. Uh, I just having to run along beside me. She's not really happy about it. We fixed the rain. I'm gonna get them out of the, out of the weather, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make me some lunch. All right, guys, cut this off. All right, y'all ready to go home? It's fixing the rain. Fix the rain, kids. Let's go home. You ready to go home? Are you ready to go home to your mama? Do you want to go to your mama? Carly can't go to your mama. But you can. I can imagine I drive over 
three little girls and drop them off the breeze. <laughs> Papa, what are you doing? All right. Get out of the way. Okay, kids. Okay, we home. We home. We home. We home. We home. We home. You okay? I I'll come get it and get grass all over the back of your little diaper. All right, I'll bring Carter, uh, Coda. You going home? You going home? Not Carly. Carly can't go over there. Carly got to go take a nap. Okay? All right. You going to take a nap? Yep. All right, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> Bree going to say, what? What am I doing with two girls? No, no, you're going in the house with Papa. You're not going to hang out with them two girls. They're wild. Well, send her back. All right. Send her home when you're ready. I guess. Or Gigi a call for one or the other. Big girl, I gotta go with Popo. Come on, let's go. I ain't talking to you three. Come on. <laughs> Look at that little, little barefooted country girl. <laughs> she said I put the diaper on her backwards. I don't know if that makes a difference. Why would it make a difference? She said, I'll fix it in a minute when y'all come back. So. Go ahead, I'm right behind you. Make sure you don't step no dog poopy or something. Right? Come on, let's go. Let's go. You can do it. Half her butt's hanging out the side. Maybe that's what G said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this little girl. Yeah, I do love you. You're paying the butt, though. Comes to the doorway, she gets down our gate, and then she gets back up. You know, breaking these things apart is a slow process. It, it truly is a slow process. And then putting them up here on top of the mule here and pulling all these nails out of here. It's like, like new wood, you know? It's just like, it's like new boards and... When you go pricing this stuff, you know, it, it's expensive. So if I come by here and do three or four boards a day, you see my passing by, stop and do three or four boards, hey, it don't take 30 minutes or so, and you're on your trail again, and in a few days, you'll have every one of them pulled. Now, my plan is on these two baits, like right here, there are two baits some over there too those would be the, the basis uh, I'm gonna build some platforms I think for some of my plants my pot plants and stuff my potted plants okay somebody says don't say pot plants Papa all the police gonna be coming <laughs> it's not gonna be potted it's gonna be like tomato plants and stuff but I'm thinking about building like a uh, like a little table, so to speak. Two baits would be the basis, and I'll draw it out to you. And these would be like the bottom or the top of the little table and set the pot plants right on top of it. Because in those pots, you know, you got to water them every day or whenever you have to water them anyway. Uh, they don't need to be down in the dirt. They go. That's that's the purpose of them. Uh, people sit on their sidewalks, on their you know, along their patios. What's the difference sitting on a little table? be up high, easy to get to. Uh, pepper plants, tomato plants, 
So I'm thinking this, this would work pretty good. And these are, they're all treated, so they ain't gonna rot and they can be used from year to year to year. And if I didn't want to set them in a certain place, they're, they're portable. I just pick them up and move them where I need to go, go with them and reset them, you know? That's my plan. So, show you a little bit about what, what it has to do to get these things going. You can see, you know, nails sticking up. It does, it's not hard to get them out. It's a little time consuming. turn it over and if I can brace it with my arm yeah that shook you up a little bit didn't it guys there see got the nail pulled out and then drop it in the bucket and just keep doing them I do not need help no sir I don't need help over here not a one of y'all can drive nails not even you Soph Sophie, I'm serious. I'm serious, baby. Johnny, tell him. Tell him, Johnny. Johnny said, Papa, I'll get up there and do it for you. I know you would. <laughs> no, Sophie. No, no, ma'am. Uh-uh. We're not going to do this. We're not doing this. Get your butts down. Duke. Duke. Move it, Duke. I'm serious. Get out of here. Go. 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 Duke. Duke. Oh, you're making me mad, Duke. You're making, oh, y'all make me mad. It's hard to get any work done with all this going on. You know, just, just, how do you get anything done? Everybody just wants to gather around. What are you doing, Papa? What? No, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. Right here. That's what I thought, Johnny. You'll be the one to start it, and then Duke. And then Duke. Those are the nails in there, Johnny. You don't eat nails, son. Johnny actually wants to eat a nail. Just as a contest for myself, and I'm gonna take that ball over and put it back in there. Uh, somebody throw that away, I guess Jake did. For uh, the goats and Ivan, see if they won't play with it. Ivan's never had an interest in a ball. I've, we've put balls in there before, but the goats may end up playing with it. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take a board just for interest of my own interest see how long it takes me to back the nails out and to pull them and make that board ready to go again all right so i'm gonna time it well it only took a little over two minutes and part of that was wrestling with johnny making johnny get out of my way so what bad it takes say it takes three minutes per board won't be long i'll have them all done i've got six boards done they're eight foot long uh, i don't know what they cost in Lumber yards are fairly expensive. They're treated, one by sixes. It took me about 20 minutes to pull the nails out of these six boards, and uh, maybe a couple of extra minutes arguing uh, with Johnny. Uh, Johnny was he was determined to get up here and help, and I wouldn't let him. And Duke and Prince, they all thought they could get up here too. Yeah, I, I heard you. Just part of it. The rest of them all have slowly wandered away, and that's good. I'd have probably got some more done if I hadn't have been here. Thank you. Thank you for leaving. <laughs> anyway, this stuff, I can use it. It's going to come in handy for several little projects. Uh, my raised beds, my, uh, got to do some more work in my goat, goat yard. So all this stuff will come in handy. It'll save some money. Save you some money.